this is Janet with Paper and Spark. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use the Squarespace import spreadsheet. Um, the, sp the Squarespace import add-on spreadsheet is made to be an additional tool used in conjunction with another Paper and Spark seller spreadsheet. This tool is going to provide you with a quick and easy way to get just your Squarespace sales, which you can then manually input over into the main seller spreadsheet that you're already using. If you're new to my spreadsheet system, then I suggest that you first get to know your main seller spreadsheet and make sure you know how that works, and then you can come back here and figure out how the Squarespace import add-on tool works. So let's start by walking through how to import your Squarespace CSV monthly report, which will automatically total your Squarespace sales, your shipping received from customers, and your refunds. So let's start by logging into your Squarespace site. Now things might look a little different depending on what kind of account you have. Let's just review this real quick. Your Squarespace account, if you have a personal or business website account, then you're going to have a 3% or a 2% transaction fee. If you have an online store account, then you're not charged a transaction fee at all. Now the transaction fee is going to be charged from your payment processor, so it's going to be part of your Stripe and or your PayPal fees. So when you look at the back end of your Squarespace site, it might look a little different depending on what kind of account you're paying for, but you want to click on your commerce link and then click orders. And then to get the report that we want, we're going to click the export CSV button. You can click off the pending orders. We're just going to download our fulfilled and canceled orders. Then click next. We'll look for just the month that we want to download reports for. We will do December 2016. Click Next. All products is fine. Then click Save. Once it downloads, you can open it in your spreadsheet software. It's going to look something like this and you'll want to just copy and paste this into the applicable tab of your import. So to do that, you're going to click this little button right here above the one and to the left of the A, and it will select your entire spreadsheet. And then you can copy this by right clicking and hitting copy or go to your edit copy menu. Navigate back to your Squarespace import spreadsheet and select the tab that we're working with. So that's gonna be December and then click that same cell, that upper left hand corner, and then you can right click paste or edit paste, and now you've got everything here copied into your import. So to make sure we did it correctly, you can just go to the monthly summary tab and see that yes, I do have amounts generated for December in these blue rows now. So that's how you quickly and easily import in your Squarespace sales for the month. Now just a quick note about the sales that you just imported. Your Squarespace sales total is going to include sales taxes collected. So this amount includes sales tax collected. It does not include your shipping received because that is broken out into its own line here and it will be before any refunds because if you have any refunds on your spreadsheet on your import it's going to automatically tabulate here as a negative number your squarespace sales are also before any transaction fees or credit card processing fees because we're going to subtract those out separately here now let's review how to enter your Squarespace fees um, here in the expense section of your import. You do pay Squarespace a monthly or annual subscription fee just to have your host your site hosted on Squarespace and I don't have a place for you to enter that on the import file but you can import that I mean you can enter that on your main seller spreadsheet either as a monthly expense or as the annual expense that could go like on your other tab or you can make a custom row in your monthly summary expense section for it 
however you want to do it. Since most Squarespace shops use PayPal and or Stripe as their payment processor, I'm going to cover how to find fees for those two payment processors now to enter onto your import spreadsheet. So in order to do that, I'm going to switch over to the videos that I made for the Squarespace seller spreadsheet. Um, and it's going to work exactly the same. You might just notice that the spreadsheet looks a little different. But don't be alarmed. It's just because it's videos for the main version of the spreadsheet. So let's talk about transaction fees from Squarespace. Remember, if you're using one of those personal or business um, website accounts, then you're going to be charged either 2% or 3% transaction fee per sale. Now these fees are going to come out of your Stripe or your PayPal account. Um, and what's confusing is that if you're using Stripe or PayPal in general, you're going to be charged a transaction fee from Stripe or PayPal. They already charge you basically a credit card processing fee. If you're using one of the lower tier Squarespace accounts, they're going to charge you a 2 or 3% transaction fee on top of the fees that Stripe or PayPal are already charging you. So, if you've got one of these accounts, personal or business website, you can expect to find a 3% or a 2% transaction fee plus the credit card processing fee that Stripe or PayPal would already charge you. If you're using the online store account, basic or advanced, then you're, you can expect to see only the credit card processing fee that Stripe or PayPal normally charge you. So when you go to enter your Stripe and your PayPal fees here on the selling expenses of your spreadsheet, you might be dealing with different percentages based on what kind of Squarespace account you have. I have a really good link explaining um, Squarespace's transaction fees in the PDF instructions for the spreadsheet if you're confused and want to learn more about what you're really being charged. Alright, so let's talk about how to find your PayPal fees first. A couple of notes about PayPal. These directions are only going to apply if you're working with a business PayPal account. A business PayPal account is free and you can upgrade for no extra cost and you get the additional reporting capabilities of a business PayPal account. So from your PayPal account you would click reports and then you'd click on your monthly statement. navigate to whatever month you are dealing with. Um, let's do December 2016 and you can download the PDF. It's going to look like this when it opens and we are going to scroll down to page two of this report and on page two we can see our fees for the month and I have $133.25 of PayPal fees for the month. So I would just check out this number save this PDF for my records and enter the $133.25 for my December orange PayPal fees. Keeping in mind that I don't need to enter any of my expenses with a negative sign or a minus sign. The spreadsheet knows that this is an expense and it's going to subtract it from your total sales. Something that's important to note about PayPal, it's a commonly used payment processor and you might be using it to sell on Squarespace and other places online or even in person with their PayPal card reader. So these fees that you're recording right here are your total PayPal fees for the month from any place or venue that you accepted PayPal. Um, it's not just necessarily your Squarespace PayPal related fees. Now that we've covered PayPal, let's talk about how to find our Stripe fees. So you can log into your Stripe account if you accept payment with Stripe on Squarespace. Click Business Settings. Click Data. And then click the Download Report button next to Monthly Report. And then once it's downloaded on your computer, you can open that file, 
The only bad thing about exporting data from Stripe is that they just give you everything since you started using Stripe. They're going to break it out by month up here at the top. And then we can kind of find what we need. So what you're looking for here is going to be your monthly fees. So let's take a look at December 2016, which is what we're working with. We're going to look at this fees row right here. And this is the amount that I'm going to enter as my Stripe monthly fees for December, 179.34. Again, you don't need to enter it as a negative. All right, so we've got our Stripe fees and our PayPal fees entered here. Remember that um, these fees are going to be all your Stripe fees and all your PayPal fees, not necessarily the ones related to only your Squarespace sales. Okay, so let's say now it's time to enter your Squarespace imported data from your import add-on tool over to your main seller spreadsheet. How would you go about doing that in the easiest manner? Well, what I would do is open your main seller spreadsheet. In this example, I'm going to be using the Etsy seller spreadsheet. And first, we want to transfer our sales over here. So you could either create a new row or rename these custom revenue rows for each item here. But I think the easiest way to do it is just to enter the total revenue amount for the month for your Squarespace sales. So that's going to be your Squarespace sales, the shipping received, and any refunds issued. Um, just that total gross or net amount we're going to enter over here on the seller spreadsheet. So for December, it was $335.40. I'm going to rename a row here to Squarespace net sales, and then I would just enter the $335.40. And that's how I would do it, just entering the total from the month onto the spreadsheet. Um, if you need to insert a new row for whatever reason to do that, you can right click where you want to insert it, go to insert, and then rename the row to what you want. Um, the only thing that you need to watch out with doing that when you have a new row, when you insert a totally new row, is that it's not going to sum, it's not going to include that amount. Here, I'll do it again and delete this one. It's not going to include the new row in your monthly sum or in your yearly sum. See how 335 is not summed up here nor here. So you're going to need to adjust that. So if you need to do that, you'll want to unlock your spreadsheet by going to review and then clicking the sheet button. Mine's already unlocked right now. Um, if you're in Numbers or Google Sheets, it probably is all automatically unlocked. And then you'll want to adjust the formula. So you can do that by clicking the sum in the yearly column above it. And then in the lower right hand corner, see how the cursor turns into a plus sign? Just click and drag down and it's going to copy the formula from right here and apply it to the new row. So now it's including my Squarespace sales in the yearly column, uh, but it's still not included in the monthly column. So to do that, click the cell formula that you want to adjust, then go up to your formula bar and see it's including all the rows except for my new one. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to click above it and then drag down so that the new cell is included. Now the sum goes through cell M10, which is my new Squarespace row, and then hit enter. But you want to make sure that it's doing that for all months in case you enter you know, Squarespace sales for these other months as well. So I'm just going to click and drag all the way to January to make sure it's included there. And I'm also going to click and drag over to the year to make sure it's included there. So now this number updated to include the 335. So it's really easy just to rename one of the custom income rows, one of the custom income cells, but if you need to actually insert a new row, that's how you would do it and make sure to adjust for the formulas. 
All right, so now how do we go about adding the Stripe fees and the PayPal fees to our spreadsheet? Well, depending on what spreadsheet you are using, you might already have a space for PayPal fees. Like on the Etsy seller spreadsheet, there is already a space for PayPal fees. So you can just enter that amount here, keeping in mind that, again, these are PayPal fees from all sales that use PayPal, not just Squarespace, not just Etsy, but both or all of them, everything. And then, um, again, if you need to rename one of the custom selling expense rows to square, uh, Stripe fees, you can do that and then just manually type in the amount here and you're good to go. If you need to insert a new row in order to do that, you can right click insert and then you can rename it to be what you need it to be. Same thing. Just remember that you might need to copy the formulas um, to make sure that they're included in your yearly column totals. So that's how you can easily transfer the amounts that your import add-on tool totals for you over to your main seller spreadsheet. Um, you may or may not want to do the same thing with your sales tax tab. You could just leave this tab here and leave these totals here until it comes time to do your sales tax forms. Then you can make sure you add these amounts to your main seller spreadsheet amounts when you complete the form. Or you can actually, like I've done here with Amazon, you can actually type in, you know, whatever data you might want to include over on this tab if you'd like to look at it all in one place. It's really up to you and how your brain works best. And then, of course, make sure that you keep saving this file as you go because even though you're entering those amounts over here on your main seller spreadsheet, you want to have a backup copy of how exactly you are um, getting to those numbers. So this is a good way of keeping your proof of how you're getting to those numbers. That is how you can get the most out of your Squarespace import add-on tool. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I have a spreadsheet FAQ page on the site which should be linked up in the PDF instructions for this tool. Um, so that's always a good place to visit if you have questions. And if you don't see your question answered there, feel free to email me at hello at paperandspark.com. Thanks.